Austria has passed a bill that's already being labelled one of the toughest migration laws in all of Europe. Under the new legislation, the government will be allowed to declare a state of emergency over the migrant crisis. If an emergency is announced, the number of refugees taken will be limited to those facing persecution or who already have relatives in the country. But the rest can simply be turned away right at the border. Now, the new law comes amid the victory of a far-right candidate in the first round of the country's presidential election. Now, these are the sort of statements that stirred Norbert Hoffer's breakthrough. There is this weird fence and border controls along the roads. The invaders will simply go round the fence. They will come to Austria and say, asylum. I was asked whether I would swear in a female minister wearing a hijab. And I said no. Amnesty International has already branded the new law, quote, a glaring attempt to keep people out of Austria. But Vienna remains determined to limit migrant arrivals. And another step, it's uh, considering a fence at the border with Italy at a major immigrant crossing in the Alps called Brenner Pass. Austria says that unless Italy blocks the growing number of migrants from traveling through the area, it will have to introduce border controls there. Though that idea did not sit well with Italy's prime minister. The question of the Brenner Pass is a simple one. There is not a single element that can justify the closure of the Brenner Pass. Therefore, we think that the Austrian authorities have no other choice than to respect European laws. The plans for offence have already sparked tensions right along the border with Italy and Austria. On Sunday, pro-refugee protesters clashed with Austrian police there. Activists swinging inflatable dinghies like those that take migrants across the Mediterranean uh, attempted to take down the railings at the border. And clashes erupted in the very area where construction of the fence is planned. Reinhard Kressel of research group the Vienna Center for Societal Security thinks Austria's approach is actually short-sighted. This is a very short-sighted reaction on the Austrian side and it's the typical NIMBY problem, not in my backyard. So. Everybody sees the problem, but nobody really wants to deal with that. And the Austrians, at the moment, they are following a very short-sighted populist sentiment. The problem is, uh, it's a kind of a blaming the victim. So uh, what you could see last year was a complete incompetence on the side of the Austrian authorities to handle the influx of migrants. There was this rhetoric about the tsunami, about the waves coming in, which was a very dramatizing way of talking about it. What, what it really shows was simply that Austria, which is a developed country, which is a rich country, was not able to handle the situation. However, as new obstacles spring up to stop refugees from reaching Europe, as some of what you might call shortcuts to asylum still remain. Though thousands of less fortunate migrants are still stuck at the closed Greece-Macedonia border, still settled in overcrowded camps. In the latest attempt to deal with the situation, Greek police have passed out leaflets to migrants, calling on them to move to reception centers all across Greece. The border has remained closed ever since several states uh, shut off the so-called Balkan route to the EU earlier this year. <laughs> 